Hi, I'm Donna from Mason Creations ETC. I'm happy you joined me here today. I'll be making an easy do-it-yourself mermaid and butterfly bathroom set. I'll be using some air dry clay to add some special 3D effects. And this set will have a beautiful ombre paint finish. Let's jump into it. First thing I'm doing is wiping down all of the jars with a little bit of just plain old rubbing alcohol. It removes any dirt, grime, oils that could have gotten on the jar, either from you handling it or people handling it in the store. After I wipe them down, I will give all of the jars a quick coat of white paint. I'm not gonna be fussy with this coat of paint because it is just a base coat. I'm avoiding getting any paint on the threads on this particular jar because this is the one that will have the soap dispenser lid on it. So I make sure I'm not getting any paint on those threads so that the lid will screw on properly. On the other two jars, I'll be taking the paint all the way to the top and over the threads. After I'm done with the white paint on all three jars, I'm going to add one coat of clear matte spray to each jar. This is actually a very important step if you don't have a coat of spray between the first and second coats, then the paint will not adhere properly. The jar that is going to become the soap dispenser, I am covering the threads of that jar with some painter's tape to protect them from the spray as well. I'm using DAS clay to make the mermaids for the three jars. I did half of the mermaid just using the tail of the mold for the small jar, since the larger mermaid will not fit. After I unmold the mermaid, I will put a piece of plastic wrap over top of each jar, and then I'll put the unmolded mermaid on top of the plastic wrap on the jar and let it dry that way for approximately 24 to 48 hours and it will capture the shape of the jar as it dries. Now I'm using the Delight Clay to make all of the smaller little embellishments, the starfish, the shells, and the butterflies. I'm going to glue the mermaids to the jars with E6000 glue, but before I do that, I'm tracing the mermaid on the jar so that when I have the glue on it, I know exactly where to place it on the jar. That way I won't smear glue all over the jar trying to figure out where to put it. As I'm tracing the mermaid, the pencil is going to scratch the paint and that's okay because this is going to have several more layers of paint and it'll cover any of those scratches. I'm going to glue the starfish, the shells, and the butterflies to the jars now using a hot glue gun. Before I glue them down, I'm going to trace them again once I get the placement exactly where I want it. So once I have the hot glue on the little item, I'm not confused as to where I want to put it. And you'll notice I am using a couple of real shells in addition to the ones that I made out of the delight clay.
Once I've glued everything on the jar, I'm going to give the entire jar another coat of white paint, just to cover up any of the scratches and pencil marks. I'm not concerned with any paint that might get on the bottom of the jars because I'll be cleaning that up a little bit later. I'm starting my ombre paint finish now. I'm taking the darkest color that I have and I'm going around each item that's on the jar. I'm going up the edges and then I'm feathering it out a little bit. This will make a nice shadow effect for all of the items that I just glued on here. It will make everything stand out really nice when the paint job is complete. Now I'm starting at the bottom of the jar with my darkest color. I'll be using my paintbrush to get into some of the smaller cracks and crevices, and then I'll also be sponging that. These are the three paint colors that I'm using. They're actually sample paints for wall colors, but I have them mixed at Home Depot and they work wonderful for craft paints. I'm starting on the medium color now. I'm going to use my paintbrush to get into the cracks in some of the harder places and then I'll be using my sponge to get the rest of it. And I will be sponging the medium color onto the darker color very lightly to try to blend them together and lose that line, that sharp line between the two colors. And I will be going back and forth with both colors a little bit until I get the exact effect I'm looking for. Now I'm using the lightest color that I have and I'm doing the same thing using the brush and the sponge and I'll go back and forth with both colors until I get the effect that I like. And actually I'll probably go back and forth with all three colors until I get that effect. Now I'm blending in the white paint up at the very top of the jar with my pale, pale paint. And I'll go back and forth with colors until I like what I get. I'm taking just a little bit of white paint, very little. You can see I dabbed off a little bit. And I'm just barely touching everything on here just to make it highlight a little bit and stand out. Between that and the shadow, everything is going to really get your attention on this jar. I am doing the exact same procedure, all of the steps that I just showed you on all three jars. It's time to clean up the bottom of these jars. I am using a clay sculpting tool to scrape the paint off and then I'm wiping it with a damp rag. And I'm doing this with all three jars. After I'm done cleaning up all three jars, I'm going to give them a coat of matte clear finish. I'm adding the soap dispenser lid and the twine to each jar now, and they will be complete. 
isn't this a gorgeous set? I absolutely love this set. I hope you'll enjoy making it as well. If you make this set, I would love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, give me a great big thumbs up and hit that like button. If you enjoyed it a lot, share it with your friends. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can keep bringing craft videos just like this one to you in the future.